Hey Collective, it's your favorite reader, Jackie. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay, so the messages I have in this segment. Do what you love. The affirmation for this video is I have everything I need, okay? Manifest that shit and stop playing. Matter of fact, let me write that down. Manifest that shit. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I created a Law of Assumption deck. So let's get it. I'm excited. And this is only half the deck. Let's go. Someone's changing jobs. Assume you have the job. Claim it. Say it. Speak it. Exist in it. Single and wealthy. Okay. Consciousness is the only reality. So what does that mean? That means that prayer, affirmation, they... They help you stay in the 4D, okay? You're focusing too much on the 3D. The 3D can change at any given time in space. You're not using your imagination enough. Write it down and define exactly what it is you want. And then... Write your own affirmations, listen to subliminals, use sleep tapes, all that good stuff. Persist. <laughs> and 222 on the recorder, I saw that. Excellent credit, single and wealthy. You're not persisting enough. Debt free. Yeah. You're changing jobs. Revision. So what is revision? Revision is when you revise the past, when you use the affirmations to um, rewrite past situations. I've done it a few times. It works, okay? Because um, all you got to do is assume it and affirm it and persist in it and create your dom change and recreate your dominant thoughts. Yeah. Claim it. Claim it, catch it, say it. Look. My other deck, claim that shit. With rebirth, tell a new story. Stop telling the old story. 144,000. That's what you came to do, to tell a new story. What's the new story going to be? This card keep coming out. Backdrop NPCs up in your business. So you got a bunch of NPCs in your business because you're a chosen one. We have scientists. Like, you're being watched. You're being studied. I don't know how you feel about that. Desire. Persist, persist in the desires you want to achieve. Brilliant ideas. Past gifts. Let me see something. 
Yeah. Earth Angel and Fortune. So some of you, you're, oh, oh, we got Fortune out here twice. Look, I did not know I even wrote it in there twice. Real talk. Dreams will manifest. Relax. Relax. Sit the fuck down. Shh. Scorpio, you are a free thinker. So if you're a Scorpio and you're watching this, that's for you. Old timeline. Choose to jump. You could be an Aquarius that's experiencing an ending. Forgive them personal vision. Forgive the people that hurt you and understand that you have a, a personal vision and a personal goal that you want to achieve for yourself. 555 on the recorder. And if you are a cancer or watching this, find relief. You're going through something. You have to find some sort of relief. Let's see here. You will soon go on a long trip, take, taking a risk. So somebody may ask you to go on a trip or somebody may fly you out or you may fly somebody out. There's a past lover that's watching you. They see that you have brilliant insights, insights and that you're a brilliant person. You're a unique individual. High spiritual IQ and phone calls. Like your spiritual IQ is telling you that somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody's going to call you. Somebody likes to play virtual reality. Um, you, you have a lot of fun. Maybe you're into like playing Beat Saber or Supernatural. I don't know where that's coming from. Somebody adores you or you adore somebody. So what I have to say about the situation is don't let your pride get in the way. And this person, they're possibly letting their pride get in the way of things. And that's their loss. You'll find luck in solitude. Unexpected income and <laughs> and values. So hold on to your integrity and your character and your morals and hold on to all that good stuff that makes you you, man. Because, yeah, we have truth and self-control. So let the truth reveal itself and you just, shh, shh, just be very demure, okay? You are a natural born healer and we have partnership. So now that you walk away from somebody, they see that you're, you're really who you say you are. You're really a healer. You're really a natural born healer. You just wanted freedom from something that felt like a simulated reality to you, AKA a nine to five. You just wanted something different for yourself. Um, this person made you feel like you had to show and prove just to be with them or you don't even understand why you went through this weird phase with somebody. It was weird to you because you're like, I'm healed, but you keep giving your energy away to unhealed, inauthentic people. Once you back moving. So somebody could be moving towards you or coming towards you. And you're just like, that's not my problem. <laughs> We have stranger and we have creative force. So there's going to be a stranger that helps you get to your next level. Okay. They see your vision and there is somebody going through self-reflection. 911 on the recorder and fake profile. So somebody's watching you from a fake profile and they have to self-reflect. You're making somebody self-reflect. Well, this is all I have for you for this one. i see you in the next. You know that was good. <laughs> hey, collective. It is your favorite reader, Jackie. Okay, so I have my notes first, and then we're going to get into the cards. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves, because I am. Even though it's like, ooh, I got tape in my... Okay. Even though I'm going through some things, my dark sense of humor has decided to take over. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So, 
you may have been seeing 111 222 lately. Um, the scripture I got for you today is Romans chapter 9, verse 12. She was told the older will serve the younger. If you are a person who has, you know, tried, if you are like an empath and you you decided you're, you want to go in the right direction, um, the tables have turned, okay? I'm hearing my cup runneth over. So give gratitude to God, universe, all that is. Um, don't play small. There's nothing about you that's small. Like you're a beautiful individual inside and out. Stop playing small. You may have been around people that tried to force you to play small because they were intimidated or they felt threatened by your energy because you're a chosen one. Okay, you could be in a space where you're trying to heal some self-concept wounds, trying to change your dominant thoughts, okay? We have some dominant thoughts like, you know, um, all men are trash, all women are this, and you'll attract that, you know? That's your dominant thought. So you're healing self-concept wounds around relationships, finances, money, just life in general, because you're like, you're ready for something different. You are. Um... It wasn't for nothing. So many of you have been through a lot in 2024. I'm hearing the first six parts, the first six months of 2024 was really hard for you. Um, things are just starting to get better. Like you're starting to see the light. So it wasn't for nothing. And you're definitely chosen and you need to stop playing small. Okay, I had an edible, y'all, so. I'm a little buzzed, but I'm happy. <laughs> but this is when I give my best readings, like for real. So, listen. Angel fell on the floor. For some of you, you give the best messages. You give the best advice. People come to you, they lean on you, they cry on your shoulder. Um, it's just the kind of person you are. We have eyes for you. So some of you may consider yourself like an earth angel in nature. Um, there's somebody here, they, they have eyes for only you. Maybe you thought something else. Exploration. Or maybe God, the universe, dropped evidence in your lap, like this is what it is, 333 on the recorder. Um, what was that black sheep card? Let's see. Confession. There may be a person or a group of people, they're going to come towards you and confess some things. You're definitely experiencing a rebirth here. People are watching you. They're watching you grow. They're watching you transform right in front of them because they only they only know an old version of you, okay? Phone calls. Some people may come back around like, oh, um, you know, I've been watching your social media. I've been checking you out. How you been? What's going on? Do with it what you want, but no one understand the assignment. A new beginning here. Justice. All the spiritual people are saying the same thing. Time to have healthy boundaries and stop playing small. It just keeps playing over and over. You're a free thinker, so free your mind. In vogue. <laughs> Sudden or unexpected progress. 
I'm hearing overnight success, from rags to riches. But you got to believe in yourself. That's what that boils down to. A new start. Trust yourself. I feel like I got the best job in the world. <laughs> That's how you should feel with your work. No, seriously. Like you have the best job in the world. Some of you could have been dealing with the cancer. Hmm. Was it a water sign? Are you a water sign? something that's more stable okay you're focused on stability mental stability emotional stability financial stability everything 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 okay stay focused and positive you gotta stay positive out here because and don't let people trauma dump on you you can't keep telling the old story and expecting new results or a new story some of you, you're manifesting and you're, you're catching up to your manifestations. That's what's happening. I would consider this like the transition period or the bridge of events. We have a soulmate. Backdrop people. High spiritual IQ. So you you know too much. You know too much spiritually. Because you've done the work. You've healed. And when I woke up this morning, you know what I heard? How are you a fully healed person dating and hanging around unhealed people? And then you think you're the one that's unhealed. You've done the work. That's for somebody <laughs> growth you've done the work 144,000 be careful of pride okay it's okay to be ambitious but be careful of pride they'll be back you're going through some sort of transformation Good news in a week or two and self-discovery. Find yourself. That's all you got to do. That's all the universe, God, creator wants you to do is find yourself. Find your purpose. Find yourself. Love you and do you. Enjoy your solitude. I know I enjoy mine. I want, I'm at a point in life where I want my own reality. I'm on, I'm on some um, Disney Bell type stuff. Like, I just want a library. You have limitless potential. Let's see. Surprise visit. Trust your instincts. And I just saw 911 on the recorder. Generosity and spontaneity. So, now's the time to be... Generous with your creativity, okay? It's going to work out in your favor. You got people watching you from fake profiles like you really the ish right now. And your dreams are about to come true. Let me get you an angel oracle real quick. Endurance. I embrace patience and trust in the process. So... Embrace it. I'll see you soon. Peace. Hey, Collective. It's your favorite reader, Jackie. Okay, so today has some very valuable messages, okay? God is granting you wealth and riches suddenly. People are about to regret losing you. They are, okay? Get my cards. 
sure I get all these messages out. Somebody found out the truth about you. Maybe there was rumors being spread, smear campaigns, character assassination. I don't know what you did on a positive side, but people are offended. They're offended by your positivity. They're offended by your will to want to do the right thing. But you're like, I don't care because I'm on a new timeline. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. You could be a chosen one and your isolation hides your true purpose, okay? Rest assured, because God is finding a way to help you. So stop stressing, stop worrying. Yeah. Right now, you could be in solitude and you're being asked to make a choice, okay? Gamble. You could have been dealing with somebody that likes to gamble. Um, you could be the kind of person that likes to gamble here and there. You like to try your hand every once in a while. So what I'm also getting, you have brilliant ideas and you need to take a risk. Gambling is about taking a risk. You can't win if you don't play, right? Same thing with life. Life is a game. You can't win if you don't play. Okay, travel or a new vehicle. Somebody may reach out to you and ask you, um, ask you like, can you take this trip with me? I want to go somewhere. Or somebody may gift you a car. Yeah, we have a present. So, I'm just wondering, like, is this a makeup gift of some sort? A present. There's somebody here that wants to give you a present. A reliable friend who has your back and will stand beside you. Sincere, but impatient. So you have a very sincere, but impatient friend here. Like, you know who this person is. House. So, obstacles and blocks. How can I say this? Things that can like mess up relationships with like your best friends or your close friends or even family sometimes is, is money and living together, okay? I don't know who that's for, but just be mindful of that. We have desire here. Why is desire here? Playful. For some of you, you just want to get back to being yourself, right? You just want to get back to being your most authentic self. You want to... Feel good in your body. And to do that, for some of you, you're really silly, you're really playful, you, you're kind of goofy, and that's what makes you you, right? I'm trying to make room on my table. That's what makes you you. We have Airbnb and we have knowledge and 444 on the recorder and the outcome. Some of you, you can't hear yourself think. You need to get away. You need to take a trip. You need to be by yourself. You need to be alone. You need to learn yourself all over again. You need to figure out who the heck you are and what the heck you want. I know what I want. I just want my channel, my creativity, and... I want to help myself so I can help other people. Like, make it make sense. People won't, People will hate you for that. People will hate you for that. We're a scientist. Hmm. Sacrifice. 
surgery, secret formula, state secret research, breakthrough. You have to make a choice in solitude right now because you're going to experience a breakthrough. You could be the black sheep. You could be the youngest child. You could be the only child. You could be, you know, that, that one member of the family that's like, they can't figure you out. Yeah, this is for you. This is for you. Okay, horse. Some of you, you love horses. You like horse statues. You, you really, you're really fond of horses, okay? Um, competition, aristocrat, riding lessons, betting. This is clarifying gamble too. So somebody, you would win a, you would win a lot of money betting on horses. That's for somebody. I'm not a big gambler or anything like that. But that's what I'm getting with that. Letter. Anonymous. A love letter. Somebody's writing you a love letter. They may leave it in your car. Come back to this video. They may leave it in your windshield or at your door or in your mailbox. Somebody wants to leave you something or give you something. Theater. Shakespeare. Opening night. Mm, concert over act. I'm here like drama king or drama queen. Somebody's really dramatic. Robot. So what I'm getting is like we have artificial intelligence, high tech military, electric voice remote control you don't want to be this you don't want to be this person that follows the herd somebody that has a hive mind you just want you you just want you well warrior because you're a savage spiritually self-sacrifice warfare Hero, army. Yeah. You're more focused on being brave and having the courage to step out on your own. So I'm like, I'm seeing the the full card in my mind, um, which is take a leap of faith. And, and on that card, you see a person um, getting ready to step off a cliff. They got, you know, their pet and their sack. And this is you. You need to accept that you're different. Okay, that's your your friggin' nerd for crying out loud. Um people probably you probably were bullied growing up, picked on. Um, but you're low key, like you're low key genius. You're into weird stuff. No, I wouldn't even call it weird, but you're into like cosplay, Star Trek, comic books. Um You you may have been the kind of person that wasn't good at sports. Let's get you a Oracle card so we can close out of this. We have passion. The universe is always guiding me towards my passion. The angels ask you to act and follow what you believe in with all your heart. You have come to this earth to fulfill a mission. Unleash your full potential and engage in activities that bring you pleasure. Well, you guys, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.